kind of a I don't give a shit video. Um, a little bit from last week, I just want to touch up on a few things. Uh, basically, I got the, uh, I'm shooting off the camera mic this morning. You gotta excuse me, it's like 5 a.m. Central Time. But I got that road mic. Can see it but I got that and basically got the softbox light and I really like that a lot so I thought I'd shoot this first part with just the camera mic and we'll put the shotgun mic on so you guys can see the difference between the softbox light and the Rode Micro shotgun mic so one second I'll be right back and you'll see the difference now we're using the Rode micro shotgun mic um, I hope you can tell the difference and um, I like the, the setup a lot especially with the lighting it works great so that's why I'm kind of sitting here with the the big difference between the soft box lighting and the ring light, um, as far as I'm concerned, um, I do an unboxing, but I mean, it's who cares really, right? And uh, it works well, and that's the important thing. Um, the other thing I was going to bring up is uh, I wanted to bring up words we use in the English language. Uh, piece of cake. I don't know what to say about all these words. I mean, we've been using them for decades. I mean, uh, ouch. Who came up with that one? You know? Uh, it's not rocket science. You know, I, I wonder sometimes who, who comes up with these idioms, whatever you want to call them phrases um, shoot the breeze that's another another one um, break a leg ballpark figure for the birds behind the eight ball Monday morning quarterback don't cry over spilled milk put up your dukes jump on the bandwagon plead the fifth I think I've used that one a lot. Go Dutch. That might not be so bad. Nosebleed section. We all know what that one was. It's all downhill from here. Not a big fan of that expression. Ride riding shotgun. Break a bill. John Hancock. Makes you wonder a lot of times where some of these <laughs> These catchphrases come from, um, I gotta laugh. I mean, I, myself, I've used them a lot over the years. I'm, I'm sure a lot of you guys have. And, it, ouch, that one gets me a lot. What did some, some damn person sit in a room and it just popped out when he got in pain? Ouch! <laughs> I mean, that's gotta make me laugh. I mean, I'm not exactly sure how that came about, but it's sure widely used today. And um, I think I've used it a lot in the past couple months with all this medical issues I have. Um, I wanted to do a kind of a point and shoot stand up type video, but as you can tell, it's kind of hard for me to do that because I have a, a vacuum pump that's attached to me. Um, it's kind of like wound care, but I mean, yeah, it makes it difficult to kind of do that sort of thing, but. I thought I'd just go with a, a different type of video and not really give a shit too much about what I shoot, how I shoot, and what's been done. Get a different angle in my studio is kind of nice, a uh, little different, you know, try to get in the center of this video a little bit. Uh, that's a blooper if I ever have one, which I think I might start adding to my videos. Because hell I'm I screw up a lot <laughs> but yeah it's a, a different just a different video all 
all together. Um, um, I think last night I might have even pissed off a fellow creator, which, you know, I piss people off from time to time. I am what I am, and it is what it is. I'm sure you heard those phrases yourself. Um, but yeah, sometimes you really just don't care and you just want to shoot a video. And I got up early and thought, what the hell, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna shoot it for what it is and, and not worry too much about, you know, all this crazy, I gotta do this, I gotta do that, I gotta write this down, I gotta write that down, I gotta, you know, just point and shoot. And, and that's where I'm at right now. Um, so, you know, I hope, I hope you like this video and don't forget to like, share and subscribe. And I hope you uh, like that softbox light. I mean, I really like it a lot. I think it's, it's going to suit my studio just fine. Um, the shotgun might course on the go. Can't beat that. So, you know, that's like a part two segment of last week. I wanted to make a, a video this weekend. I'm not sure if it's it's gonna go down. It's kind of a project type thing. And uh, I got a, a work with a, a fellow creator on it. So kind of a collaboration. I don't know if it's gonna work out or not. Um, we'll see how that goes. Um, so, I mean, this is, it's uh, been quite a week as far as uh, trying to come up with content um, Like I said, I keep going through all this crap with medical issues and stuff and it makes it really difficult Especially when you got a wound pump on you constantly um, It's like traveling around with a damn suitcase constantly um, But you know those phrases getting back to that. I mean You gotta wonder sometimes where the shit comes from uh, You know kind of like the the old saying, you know who who decided to eat that mushroom? Um, you know, who, who lifted up that rock to eat those bugs? Uh, where, you know, these are a lot of unanswered questions and I'm sure a lot of people are interested and it makes me laugh. I mean, especially ouch. I mean, what the hell does ouch actually mean? Um, where did it originate? I don't, you know, it's, it's just one of those words. I mean, I'm sure you can come up with a lot of them um, in the American English language, you know. Um, if you're in the UK, leave some comments below. I would love to hear some of yours. Um, that would probably make a hilarious video. Um, the difference between American and the British, you know, slang street words, phrases, whatever you want to call them, that would, that would probably be pretty cool. So if you're out there watching this and you're in Britain or something like that, leave some comments. I'd love to hear what you call things. Um, I mean, even your basic things. I, I know, I, I believe in your bathroom's called a loo or a water closet. Uh, you know, share some of that stuff. That, that would, that would be kind of awesome. Um, I'm not too worried about shining up this morning. I mean, like I said, this is one of those I don't really give a shit videos, but I hope you're enjoying it. And um, and I, I, I got one more thing to do, and then I'm going to be right back. So I hope you stay tuned. There'll be something kind of interesting coming up. All right, here's those, uh, those uh, hot Cheetos. Extra flaming hot. Um, I thought I'd give them a try. I've seen a lot of people try them out. Um, I know the Flaming Hots are they're they're, uh, they're pretty hot. So these are in here. Uh, I don't know if you can see it very well. Background here. All right, and I figure I give them give them a try. See how hot they are. And well, here we go. Well, you can definitely still taste the Cheeto in it. Probably take a couple of them. I like the, I like the flavor a lot. Get a few of them in there so you can get that spice rolling around in your mouth. But I mean, you can see how much spice is, is definitely on there. Oh my 
can get it in focus here. Oh yeah, I'm starting to feel it already. Wow. Woo, those are hot. I tried the flaming hot Cheetos and they weren't bad. I mean there wasn't too much too much of a kick or zing in, in it if that's what you want to call it but these yeah definitely got some kick to them man wow but I definitely think I'd probably buy more of them I like the flavor they're really good Just Cheetos Crunchy X Extra Flaming Hot and twice as hot I can sit and eat that whole bag but you can tell by my tongue it's it's got a lot of spice on it <laughs> it grabs your attention no doubt about it but after eating a handful of them yeah your mouth's on fire it's definitely excuse me it's definitely got some kick and uh, I'm on my uh, back on my condenser mic I love this mic this mic is I don't it's the shit I love this mic it's it's a great mic and I figure I take a couple bites of this it is morning after all even though I've been sitting up filming all night is that maple I don't know if I can get that in focus very well there we go and that well you know what they say about fat kids eating cake well donuts don't make it much different so I'm going to take a bite of this because I want to mmm that's what I'm talking about right there damn I'm missing a cup of coffee here that's what I'm missing Whew. that's a pretty good donut I hope this is making everybody very jealous or just get yourself over to Dunkin and get yourself one it's maple Ugh. that is actually pretty good with coffee Which I think after the segment, I'm definitely going to go do. Let's get some coffee. Bullshit with the wife for a little bit. So, I figured I'd try those, those extra, extra flaming hot Cheetos. And see how they were. And they're definitely worth the price of admission. I mean, they are twice as hot. I mean, very good. Um, excuse me, I got this bad habit of always looking at screen instead of at you guys. Uh, but, but give me some time, I'll, I'll get used to that. So anyway, I hope you really like the video that I put together today. It's, like I said, a I don't give a shit video. And I'm just having fun. And why not? Um, I think if more people did that, the world would be a lot funner place. So, I am going to go have that coffee. I suggest you do the same. Um, come back to my channel and subscribe. And have some fun. And to all the other people that I was referring to early on in the video, um, leave some comments. And uh, I'd really like to hear uh, a little culture, street talk, slang um, words you use for different things, um, where you live and what you do, uh, that'd be a lot of fun. I think I could put an interesting video together with that. Um, I, I do have a lot of interest in the UK, Australia, Africa, um, India, all over. Um, it's intriguing to me and it, I think it'd be a lot of fun. So leave some comments that would definitely be something I'd really enjoy and maybe I can put something in it for everybody to enjoy and I hope you have a great day and be better you.